Hello everyone, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be talking about the Hyper OS on the Poco X6 Pro. So Poco X6 Pro is the first device in India to come with the Hyper OS and Android 14 out of the box on a Xiaomi device. Now Xiaomi announced the Hyper OS a couple of months back in China and then the global debut also happened. Now Hyper OS is something which has been completely redesigned and rewritten and it's kind of a different experience altogether. Although there are a lot of visual similarities with the MIUI 14. In fact, it's not a completely drastic change from the MIUI 14, but there are a lot of other changes as well so what are these changes and how does it perform that's what we're going to talk about in this video so this is the poco x6 pro launch recently so we have done the videos on this device including the charging test and uh, other device other videos so if you're not subscribed do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos from technique so let's begin with the new changes in the hyper os on the poco x6 pro firstly let's talk about the lock screen that's one of the most important change with respect to the ui the amount of custom Optimization you can get uh, on the lock screen so this is the new lock screen you can see that uh, I can just bring up the clock I can just have the always on display so let's go to the settings so if you just press and hold you can see this is the lock screen and uh, we have uh, plenty of options here uh, to customize the lock screen you can just swipe up this is the classic option so there are plenty of options to play around this is probably the my favorite option uh, in terms of uh, the lock screen experience or rather the uh, the hyper OS so plenty of options are there you can customize uh, these uh, and play around with uh, options including customizing clock then uh, themes a lot of options are there uh, here now if I just click here I can just customize wallpaper and depth effect is also there you can change the wallpaper some wallpapers uh, some uh, uh, lock screen also option offers additional options like filters are also included so you can see here there are plenty of filters option available here matte uh, then uh, you can see here we have uh, this uh, reader option ribbed a matte effect you can enable you can see that there is also a matte effect so there are plenty of options then uh, you can go with the depth option uh, if you don't want depth uh, you can turn it off uh, depth means you will get the background effect uh, something similar to the apple iphone now wallpaper you can choose so i'll just choose uh, a local wallpaper uh, just selecting this and i just selected this now if i select the depth i can see here uh, the clock goes behind if i don't uh, select the depth uh, it will be on the top i can just uh, rearrange you can see that i can just rearrange arrange uh, anything on the wallpaper so and once you have done this you can set this you can also go with uh, the filters you can see uh, these are the options available so there are plenty of options uh, available in terms of customizing this so that's the wallpaper options so if you look at the lock screen option so you can see here then there is rhombus option then magazine style so plenty of magazine styles are there you can choose from these options so uh, whichever you feel uh, is the lock screen option you can customize that now once you selected a particular uh, lock screen say for example i'll just select uh, one of these i selected this uh, uh, lock screen and i can just select the text as well so you can see here there are plenty of options for text as well this actually depends upon the wallpaper not all wallpapers or other lock screen not all lock screen have this option but then uh, you can just see here which uh, suits you you can just go ahead with that so some of these options are there then you can just choose the colors as well so you can uh, choose the text colors uh, other text if there is any you can just choose that as well so there are, these are options available uh, for the lock screen alone so lock screen is one thing which i really liked about uh, this uh, device uh, or rather the uh, the hyper os uh, there are plenty of options to customize so uh, really loud this experience now let's go to the settings area so settings area has also been um, uh, changed you can see that the new look and style and there is one major change here there is the text uh, there is a new uh, font available so fonts have changed so this is the new font which actually looks pretty cool than the original me font then if you look at the notification toggles here also you can see that there are changed that now you get this music uh, toggle here then if you just press and hold you can see that the wi-fi uh, brings up in a box similarly if you want to change the bluetooth settings you can go with here and now they are more cleaner and uh, pleasant looking than the previous one or obviously there are some resemblance to the ios but then i would say these are more like uh, an inspiration not just an exact copy these are inspirations but then uh, uh, you can uh, see that uh, there are plenty of additional options available now one of them is uh, the multitasking options so i just swipe from here i can see the all the apps now if i just want uh, 
uh, one app i can just drag and uh, 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 enable it to the floating window so right now this is a floating window and you can just drag and uh, rearrange the floating window anywhere and you can just uh, minimize it as well uh, so this is uh, the uh, floating window option you can just you can see here full screen option is also included now i can also go with the split screen here just press and hold you can see here split screen i can see that uh, uh, one app is loaded another app is also loaded so these are the two apps uh, which i have loaded here in the split screen option and in the split screen one uh, important change is that you can see three dots here if you just click here there are uh, multiple options for the split screen you can just reverse this then you can go with one as floating window and uh, then uh, you can just go close everything and then so additional options in the floating window and uh, also uh, the split screen has been added uh, here so these are the new options the control panel as i said before has been uh, redesigned uh, you get a lot of options uh, in terms of uh, look and feel uh, the icons have changed now some apps are also changed you can see that the file manager app looks much uh, cleaner now then uh, weather app has also been changed uh, we'll just show you that weather app so overall you can see that there are plenty of changes as such in terms of ui experience but they're not very drastic compared to that now another one is the app drawer so if you just go here uh, you can see here now you can group by app color or rather color of uh, the apps and then animate the color uh, category so if i just go here so you can see here i can select the app uh, based on the colors so looks pretty cool uh, the animation effect as well so you can see here all the colors are there so this is one change uh, based on the color then uh, uh, ai features are also included in hypero is one of the new changes is that uh, you can just uh, uh, apart from the editing tools you can just uh, cut out uh, smart cut out functionality just press and hold uh, i'll just show you you can see here i can just copy save and send uh, save if i do i can just um, uh, save it as a new picture so we'll just show you so this is the new picture i saved you can just uh, copy it and uh, paste it to another application you can email it you can share to whatsapp social media everything you can do with the smart cutout functionality you just have to press and hold uh, uh, the uh, the image and then it will automatically cut out based on the ai options then there are some changes to the widget again some of the features of the hyper os is not available on this device it's a mid range device so once uh, we get the xiaomi 14 uh, we'll probably have a more clarity on that for example always on display has been uh, changed to show it always but on this device uh, it's not that case it's not the always on display again it's a 10 minute always on display so some changes are there in the flagship category some are there in the mid range category uh, for example the new widget option is not available on this device but it's on uh, available on the Xiaomi 14 and also the Xiaomi 13 pro series so that's another change now camera ui also change now this is the camera we have previously we had to click here now you can just swipe uh, here and then access the tools which is much easier than uh, clicking this is also available in the Xiaomi uh, 13 Ultra last year uh, or other uh, yeah last year so now it has come to uh, the um, hyper os as well so just uh, swipe uh, from uh, top to the bottom and you can see the settings uh, control so this is a new change in the ui application of uh, the camera now another change is when you charge the device we have just shown this uh, previously also so when you connect the, the device to the charger you can see here there is an icon at the top uh, showing quick charge and the battery percentage this appears not just for uh, charging alone but few other cases as well but again uh, depends upon the device to device uh, this has uh, uh, this new option so these are some visual changes uh, Uh, in the ui and apart from that the uh, visual changes to the camera application so these are some options uh, available in the hyper os now what one thing what i felt really good about the hyper os is how it is uh, in terms of performance it's very smooth actually the animations are really smooth uh, and uh, even uh, the response time for apps is also really good so that's one good thing i really liked about uh, the hyper os multitasking is good uh, there is new split screen option then uh, camera changes uh, then lots screen is something which i really loved uh, then with new widgets a new camera ui new control panel lot of changes are there in the hyper os not all changes are available in the poco x6 pro this is the mid range device so if you are using a flagship device you will get more features and hyper os is coming to almost all devices of xiaomi redmi and poco devices so if you are having any of these devices you will probably get uh, the hyper os now this is running hyper os with android 14 out of the box so that was our experience with the hyper os overall uh, it's a really good step from Xiaomi uh, in terms of improving the app performance and also uh, the overall experience with the uh, UI
It's definitely a welcome move uh, from Xiaomi uh, considering uh, there were some issues with older versions of MIUI. So that was my experience with the HyperOS. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.